Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in men. The high incidence of prostate cancer makes early detection particularly important. There are several important methods for early detection. One of them is a blood test. This test examines a value called PSA, which is secreted by the prostate and is considered a type of tumor marker. If a high PSA level is detected in the test, there is a possibility of prostate cancer in the patient. The risk of prostate cancer increases or decreases according to the PSA value. As with all cancers, diagnosis of prostate cancer is made especially by biopsy. Therefore, if there is no other reason for the elevated PSA levels in the early detection of prostate cancer such as previous infections or surgeries, then a biopsy should be performed on the patient with suspicion of prostate cancer. The accuracy of the biopsy method used to obtain a sample from the prostate is particularly important for early diagnosis of the disease. Today, we use three different methods for early detection of prostate cancer. One of them is the classic prostate biopsy, which is performed transrectally under ultrasound guidance. The second is magnetic resonance imaging fusion biopsy. In this method, the patient is first given a magnetic resonance imaging, and then a fusion biopsy is performed according to the results of the magnetic resonance imaging. The third method is the most recent and advanced technique in the world, and I will share its advantages with you, which is microultrasound fusion biopsy. The most important advantage of this technique is that we can perform a fusion biopsy, as in the magnetic resonance imaging fusion biopsy. In previous applications, the patient had to undergo a magnetic resonance imaging first in magnetic resonance imaging fusion biopsy. However, it was not possible to perform a magnetic resonance imaging for every patient. It is particularly difficult to take a magnetic resonance imaging for patients with stents or prostheses in their bodies. Additionally, patients with claustrophobia may also have difficulty undergoing a magnetic resonance imaging. On the other hand, patients with kidney function disorders or drug allergies also pose a problem for magnetic resonance imaging. Until now, our chances of performing magnetic resonance imaging fusion biopsy in such patients were very low. Microultrasound fusion biopsy has one of the most important advantages of being able to be performed without the need for a magnetic resonance imaging. This technique allows fusion biopsy to be performed on patients with chronic conditions such as chronic kidney disease and diabetes, and with impaired kidney function, without the risk of administering medication. Microultrasound is the latest and most advanced technology used in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. It is an ultrasound machine that operates at 29 MHz, providing real-time resolution of 70 microns, which is much higher than the traditional ultrasound operating at 6 to 9 MHz. Microultrasound provides a resolution that is 10 times higher than traditional ultrasound methods. Thanks to microultrasound fusion biopsy technology, it is possible to view sections that are not visible or distinguishable with traditional ultrasound methods in a more detailed, layered, and easy to view manner. Microultrasound provides a high resolution ultrasonographic image of the prostate in a very short time and in a single session, allowing suspicious areas to be easily and accurately diagnosed. Biopsy of the identified suspicious areas can be performed simultaneously. In addition to merging high-resolution ultrasonographic images with magnetic resonance images, fusion biopsy, GAR, 68 PSMA PET CT images, which are popular in the diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer, can also be used for fusion purposes with the microultrasound machine. Microultrasound fusion biopsy is relatively cheaper and more accessible than a magnetic resonance imaging. It is an easy to apply and repeatable method that can be performed as desired. Nowadays, prostate biopsy is performed transrectally, through the rectum, or transperineally, through the area behind the testicles, using ultrasound devices. With the microultrasound device, biopsy can be performed in both transperineal and transrectal methods. Currently, the transperineal technique is preferred due to the significantly lower risk of life threatening infections. Additionally, with the transperineal method, the biopsy of the anterior prostate region, which is a significant source of prostate cancers that cannot be adequately sampled with transrectal biopsy, can be easily performed. Sampling the anterior prostate can increase the cancer detection rates by up to 30%. Moreover, complications such as bleeding and difficulty in urination after biopsy are less common with this technique. 
Therefore, today, microultrasound fusion biopsy has made the biopsy after PSA much easier and advantageous in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. Microultrasound fusion biopsy has also made our job much easier in the early diagnosis and detection of prostate cancer and its treatment. The combination of lower infection risk with transperineal biopsy and earlier detection frequency has strengthened our ability to diagnose prostate cancer early, increasing the number of cases diagnosed with the disease using this methodology.